Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Emerson Nangango's statements are always taken very seriously and many people always try to dissect deep into the statements. This time around, Emerson Nangangwa in one of his speeches makes some insights about how elections are being done as far as presidential elections are concerned and apparently he made mention of rigging into some elections. Guys, I'm going to give you all some insider details. Before I do so, kindly follow Jam Vibes like this video drop a comment and do all to as well share this video with all of your friends loved ones and family members remember fully well that we are talking about national presidential elections and uh, rigging of course is seen in so many elections all over the african continent and he actually was so blatant about it saying fully well that of course rigging is being done as far as elections are concerned but why is it that in his case he is being dragged of course he is the ruling president right now of zim zimbabweans were on thursday left wondering if president emerson nangango's statement on rigging elections at the ninth ceo africa roundtable was just dark humor or a subtle confession of how he had retained his post as prezi of zimbabwe nangangwa who was addressing chief executive officers that is the ceos at the conference said he was not comfortable meeting so many people who had made it in life especially since they had not gone through an election which he added could highly be rigged in his words he said and i quote it frightens me that i am meeting ceos people who have succeeded in life and are at the top but of course without election which is good because elections you rig I doubt whether there is any rigging with the CEOs. It is on merit. This particular statement caused an entire stir on the socials as everybody is more or less like, what does he mean by that? To be a president, you need to definitely rig. And given to the fact that he is currently the president, is he trying to say that he actually rigged? Because many are actually questioning themselves about this. But there are some things that, guys, they mustn't actually descend to you all and say, this is what I did, this is what I did. If you're waiting that from his mouth, then you're wasting your time. We all know the way things are being run in the side of Africa. Sometimes we'll be more or less like, want to deceive ourselves that these things are not real, they're not true and stuff like that. They are very real real we have had couple of people who have done this already they were exposed and why do you still think today that it is not real i'm not saying that he rigged his elections but i'm just saying there is a possibility given to the fact that he himself has said it so black and clean and clear that there is a possibility nangangwa has never actually shied away from dark humor however despite how it is usually received at one point, he offered an award for the first family whose relatives would die and be the first to use a mortuary. The video has been watched over 65,000 times and shared by hundreds of ex-users. Zimbabwe is coming from a heavily contested election in which Nangangwa stands accused of colluding with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, that is the ZEC, to award himself a second term in office. Zeg is accused of having rigged the election in his favor, announcing him the winner with 52.6% against the main challenger, Citizen Coalition for Changes President Nelson Chamisa, with over 44%. All of these things have caused a huge stare already on the media as many people are wondering how possible is it for Nangangwa to have rigged the elections? Is it true that he rigged the elections? Did he say that he rigged the elections? No. If you check his statement right, what Nangangwa said is he is feeling, you know, not so comfortable with CEOs who become CEOs, respectable CEOs, wealthy CEOs without any elections which can be rigged. So, he is not saying he rigged the elections. Probably he's one of the very few who didn't rig. But then again, the news on the streets say fully well that, I mean, some people who are not for the fact that he won the elections are saying that he rigged it and stuff like that. So, I'm just more or less like, guys, we just need to chill. He is a president. He has five years again in service. So, all we have to do is just to bow down because he has done it the right way. Because I want to believe that if the other people really had opportunities to even rig it, they could rig it. If they had opportunity to bring him down, they could have brought him down. If it was an opportunity for him not to take the second term, they could have done it. Literally.
so we really can't blame him right he is fighting for himself fighting for his party fighting for the country others are fighting for themselves fighting for the party and fighting for the country as well everybody has got their different methods of approach i want you all to tell me what you genuinely feel about all of this i love you all so dearly